Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to this video. In this one, I'm going to tell you how I record my videos, starting from opening up Audacity and clicking record, to finishing off rendering and uploading. Uh, I hope this will give you an insight on how I upload these videos and get them to you. And I hope you learn how to and edit basic in Blender, or maybe tag, or describe, I, I don't know, but let's get into the video. But before we do that, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to join the Rover Revolution today. Now let's get into the video. I go onto this, the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, as I have a GTX 970. I get this software. And it works, which is good. Uh, so I can just click on Shadow Play. Uh, I can't because I'm recording right now. But I can't change anything. But you can change whether to just manual play, as in we just record. Shadow Play, which takes a set amount of time. As I, as you can see, I've set it to two minutes. I can take the last two m minutes of the game that I've just played that I haven't recorded. And it will take it from the RAM and record it, which is pretty awesome. So if I've missed like a sick moment in Minecraft, like or Planetside or something, like this is what I did with the 1000 certs. That's how I did it. I just clicked shadow play and it was good. Then you can have shadow time, just change the time. Quality, I've gone to custom because there's low, medium, high and ultra. Low is 480p, 30fps. Medium, is 720p 30 fps high is 1080p 30 fps and ultra is 60 fps 1080p i've got it set to 1080p 30 fps because i don't have the storage to fill up but this is a great software and if you've got an nvd card i recommend using it as it does not take up a lot of space on your hard drive an audio i've just got it in game as i use audacity so what i've done i can go into the key bindings uh, which are somewhere. I believe they are over here. Yes, they are. And I can either put a camera on, so I can have a face cam. Status indicator, which is this little thing. You can't see it because it's just for me. Uh, and it tells me whether it's recording or not. The FPS counter, which is an FPS counter, and I've got that toggled on, uh, off right now. And, uh, yeah. You can have microphone always on, or push to talk. I choose to have always on. I don't want to hold a foot, my finger down on the button the whole time I'm recording, you see. Um, keyboard shortcuts, I've got for shadow play, Alt, Alt plus F11. Uh, manual recording, F Alt F10. Uh, broadcasting, which is tri Twitch streaming, Alt F9. Uh, uh, whether I want to pause or resume it, Alt F8. Toggle camera on and off, Alt F7. Push to talk, which I don't really use, which is Alt F6. And toggle the FPS counter, which is Alt F5. And I've got it saved. Save location, my video clips. And my temporary files go to my AppDAT 10 files. Which is fine. And uh, that's what I do before I get... Start recording a video. And then, here's the good part. I hold it. Ooh, and F and back to an F10. And say, I'm going to start recording now. Click. And it makes a loud noise. And it just spikes upon the Audacity map. This tells me when I've started. And it gives me room for four. Which I usually leave five seconds of audio for. And after, I just know when I start. Uh, such as this. Going to start recording now. So now I've gone from showing you how I start to record. And now we're going to go into editing. And this is how I edit. I recorded all the things, got it all together, and then I get into editing. The first thing that you'll do when you load up Blender, which is what I use, you'll get this. Or something like this. I think it's this. Yeah, you'll load up this. And you don't want this. This is a 3D modeling software. And I do use it uh, for when I'm creating my game, which I am currently in the making of. Um, but what you want to do, you want to go down here and go to video editing. Now, it won't look like this, because I've got user preferences up. You can just do uh, start, save, start file, 
with whatever you want on it and it will just set it. So what we want to do, we want to go into add movie. Uh, actually what I want to do, I want to go into add sound, YouTube audio audacity audio. I know it's a bit long winded but that's what I do. I go, I try and find the video that I was, it would be Minecraft Hunger Games episode 1. No, uh, Minecraft mini games episode two intro. Place that in. I also extend this to a pretty big number. I have actually forgotten to change that after in one of my previous videos, a Planet Side Two video, and it just had a really long, like thirty minute ending, which I did not mean to make. Uh, but then I go to mini games episode two, and now I've got the full video. This is all the sound, and then. While I'm I'm not moving my cursor, effect strip, no sound. And I do add movie. Go all the way back, YouTube, video, video clips, desktop because for some reason it records this desktop. As you can see, I've not actually I don't know what video it is. So I go into YouTube, video video clips, desktop, and I find it, and I believe it is this one right here, it certainly is, it's about half an hour long, so what I do, I can how many spaces it's about, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Oh, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I have my video. Doesn't matter if they don't exactly match up. As you can see, they're extremely close with only about a hundred frames, which is like three seconds, which is completely fine, and that's it to be expected. And then I just go through, and I just find the parts where I want to cut out. As you can see, we're having a really good game right here, and I believe we win this game. So we get to this point. Just slow it down and play it. And I want to stop it a little bit after, right here. And then I count for timings and I think I start it about here as you can see it's it's not easy to start them and I do actually <laughs> uh, tell my brother to shush because he's making a lot of noise And I bat here. And what I do, I click, I right click it because that's the select button in this, and click K. And that splits it. And then I check it again. Are you ready, Are you ready? That's perfect. Loud car noise. <laughs> and I get rid of all of these. And I just drag and drop. I drag them like that and they will e evenly match up and then I just zoom out again and I start scrolling just keep on scrolling I actually want to see right here this was part of the video and the guy magically appears I still don't think he was there but whatever and what you do, we just move forward. We'll stop it right here. Scroll forward again. And really weird. And 
for some reason my Skype didn't get picked up again very loud. This is annoying me now. But this is something that I have to deal with. I don't know why I did this here. And what you just do, just click K and delete. Delete to get rid of them. And then you just scroll across. Kill this guy. Don't know why there was a picture of my desktop there. It was strange. Very strange. Just keep scrolling, and you got your video part of the video that you want. This guy, yeah, I, I almost killed this guy, and then another guy came up. That was rude. And then we end it here. I need to get a Skype sorted out. Wait, sure, sure. sure, sure. find the right place that you want to finish and it's rinse and repeat basically some I uh, some of my episodes I mean most of them I try and put a little bit more effort into editing than this uh, but Hunger Games is quite hard to edit well uh, because of simply the type of content it is I try my Planet Side 2 videos to make it more funny, you know. Uh, doesn't usually work. But whatever. What I do, I get to the end. And I just watch it. I find where I start saying bye, I add effect strip colour. And what I do, I use the scrolling to go in and out and control scroll to go like that by the way. And right and uh, right click again to no middle click to move again. So I just pull this across and I click, shift click, add effect strip, gamma cross. And what this does, this will slowly fade it out. And what I actually do here, I end it a little bit late. So just get rid of this bit. Close this in. And then I get the number, copy and paste it with control C and control V. And that's right at the end. And it's right at the beginning. And what I usually do, I usually either record a new clip or find a clip somewhere in it and I use it in slow-mo so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to just scroll through uh, this clip's kind of small so I could copy this clip right here starting from maybe here clip Play it through. That here. Clip. Control C. You go back to one. And Control V. Sometimes it'll go behind. Don't know why that is.
and I just clip it. And I find a slightly more than the halfway point, clip it, get rid of this part, scroll this down again. And what I do, I do add effect trip speed controller. So what I can do now is multiply the speed by 0 0.5 and make it longer all the way. One. And now it should be slower. It's not though. Why is that? Hmm. Not sure why that is. There we go. And then we get into the video. So now that we've got the whole video laid out, ready. What I do, I go up here. What you want to do, YouTube actually set these. You want to set it to 30 FPS. None of this really matters except 1920 by 1080 or whatever resolution you're recording in. You, These things should be set down here, which is your start frame, end frame, and the frame you are currently on. You don't need to bother about that one, though. Uh, Anti-aliasing and whatever is basically what your computer can handle. Uh, what you want to do, you want to scroll down, and you want to put uh, put your output directory file in there, and then what you want to do, you want to do H.260, because what will happen, you'll render this video, upload it, YouTube will re-render it, so what you want to do, you want to give YouTube the best quality render you can. So H.260, uh, for sorry, RGB. H.260, uh, no, it was it was AVI, I'm lying, uh, set this, uh, 8,000 or 9,000 should do, but I like to set it to a 10,000 bit rate, set the geop size to half of your frame rate, in this case it's 15 for me, set this to A3, A MP3 I believe works, but AAC is like the new MP3, and I think it just works better. So now that you've got all of this, you just click animation and it should r render. For some reason, it's got, if it, it'll just take a while to kick in and then it'll start going. And you've got your video rendering. So guys, after it's finished rendering, I drag and drop it into a new if I click add more videos, I just click what video I have that I wanted to upload and I drag it on drop it. So what I do, I name the title, in this case it's Minecraft Tongue Games, Swagalicious Start. And then what I do, I put what what's the video about. Any extra messages, for some reason you can't hear Ryan's video. It seems to want to be recording Minecraft, you can't hear who's ever on Skype, so I might have to change that. Uh, then I put don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to give them an incentive for scrolling down to the server or uh, any other information. Join the Rover Revolution today. Then I do 40 dashes and do EU and do the server name. In some cases, there'll be lots of them. There'll be like people on the server. There'll be uh, the server name, the texture pack, uh, the music that I use or whatever. And then I tag it. So what I've done... Just go through Minecraft Tongue Games, Minecraft Survival Games, My Mindplex Server IP, Mindplex Tongue Games, Mindplex Survival Games. Then you do whatever's in your title. Minecraft Survival Games, Minecraft Survival Multiplayer Games, Minecraft Tongue Games. And this is this should be enough. If you can't think of anybody, anything else, it should really be full, but I can't think of anything else. So what you want to do, then while this is happening, you go and make your thumbnail. So once I've finished 
while that is uploading, I come and make a thumbnail. I have this template where I just have the outline. Or maybe if I do file open, I've already made a Hunger Games before, so I know the rough layout. So I just make it here again. I just get whatever I want for saying these diamonds. I just go onto Google. Wait for it to load. Minecraft diamonds. Images. Pick the first one. As you can see, it's got a background like that. That means it won't show up, the background won't show up on a picture. So this is why there's no white in the background. Then, because this song is episode 2, put episode 2. And it's on games, so it says everything, Minecraft, Hunger Games, Episode 2, and there's diamonds because it's Swagalicious stuff. And then, you see File, Save As, Minecraft, Hunger Games, Episode 2. Oh, okay, I've already saved it. So then, I go back to uh, my the YouTube, open it, YouTube, Art, I find find it, here it is, has to be a PNG file, and then it just loads it up, and it's here, and then I click publish, and now it's just a matter of waiting until it's finished. So now that you've made your thumbnail, rendered it, got it up, you come up, comes up on your, uh, Blah. channel as you can see this is a little bit after but it's loaded up and the video is here and we can full screen it so as you can see we've got the video up and running so all we need to do is we need to add an annotation in this one. Uh, the annotation says you can't hear Ryan over Skype. Sorry, Minecraft seems to be messing up with the audio. Anyway, enjoy. So while you do that, if you want to change your info and settings, just go here. You got all the settings, tags and everything. Go to enhancements, which I don't usually use. Sometimes I do, but I don't. Hey, you guys. I think this speeds it up. Like, drastically. There we go. <laughs> yep. Uh, got audio. You can add sounds and whatever. To annotations. So let's just keep pausing that. Let's mute it. There we go. Why did an annotation? To do that, you click add annotation. Pick the one that you want. Title, let's say. Just see. Hello, people. Of no, it won't show up. Hello, people. And then I could just change the font size to 100, 48, 72, 100. You know, for some reason it's going down at 100. Change it to black. Move it around. Hello, people down in the corner. It's like hello. Start. Choose when to start it. Uh, you can't. I've got two annotations. You can see them all there. And what you can do is just click. Uh, delete. All oh, right, you click right here if you want to delete it, and it's gone. So that's what I did, and then card. I don't know what this does, so I'm not gonna teach that. Uh, subtitles don't want that. So your video is up and running. Now I can add it to a playlist. So what you want to do? Want to go back to your channel? You want to go into uh, playlists. You want to go into whichever playlist it is. It's not in one right now, so we don't need to make one. But let's do this. Do Minecraft mini games. Create. Add videos. Your YouTube videos. You can also add them from other people, uh, but we're not going to do that. Minecraft mini games episode one. Funny moments got 
Minecraft, Hongi Games. Uh, don't know what this is. <laughs> uh, where's the other video? Here it is. And the top one. Swaglicious stop. And you've got it. You've got your playlist. Everything's loaded up. Everything's running. And you have got a video. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I really do hope you've learned something. Join the Rover Revolution today, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.